What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we're back on the free-to-play account. We had a day off, but we are going to be able to get a lot of stuff done this week. Number one being, we will be able to do our wishing coins to get a lot more gems, which we will definitely need for the things I want to get done here. We'll get more scrolls, more resources, everything that looks good. Um, you know what, I kind of feel like doing that first. We're going to be held back from completing the entire chapter system by our uh, levels themselves, but... You know what, let's get that done. Before we do anything else, let's just start pumping some wishing coins in here. Oh man, we can almost do 100 times. Wait, I want to do it 100 times. I've never actually done that. Hold on. <laughs> or, oh, do I really spend gems for this? But then there's Asmin Dungeon, but I really want to get all that golden resources so I can level the Eloise up as far as possible. Oh, the conundrum. The conundrum. What do we do? What do we do? We could buy three. Of, what, is the, what is the cost per one of these 150 no there's no way there's no way. all right we'll just we won't hit the 100 button like i really want to we'll hit this button here a few times and see what we get for rewards now got the four star that's pretty good can we get the five star as well that would be nice for some food we're getting some spring tickets as well for doing these loops here we'll do a couple more and one more right here all right Pretty sure that was enough to get this done. It was. So we get those promotion stones. We get the elite five-star hero. We get the gems. And now we get more gold, more spirit, more scrolls, more gems, more gold, more spirit, more promotion stones, more profit orbs, more gems. And we're down to the very last thing to complete out our chapter system. Literally in one month span, we got the entire chapter system done. Except for the one that does take like the set amount of time if you're not spending. And that is getting your experience up to the right level, which we need to get to level 97. Three more levels, so not too bad. Uh, we do get some super wishing coins. Let's see, is there anything on the wheel we want? Not really. We'll keep saving up. So, that's a lot of resources. The other thing I've been doing is focusing on my radio bond quest. So, we need to do 10 battles and trial of champion. And I need to get the other account going on the collaboration because we're almost done with everything here, which is pretty amazing we are waiting for our monthlies to reset because they reset very very soon we managed to get one more six star quest which was nice uh we weren't able to complete all the fusions which i mean it is what it is we're going to save the tickets there everything is looking good so let's get her checked out she's got the same imprints and enables uh, everything looks good here stone is still fine let's see how many more levels we can input here not too bad. So up to 318. This is going to be a long struggle, but we don't want to turn our gold into spirit right now because the main goal here is to come up with like 50 to 60,000 more and upgrade to this right here. 200 million. Now we need to get to death one because that is a lot of gold that can come our way. So our guild tech is pretty much where we want it to be. Fully maxed out first tree. We're putting points in anti-warrior so that we can get more progress in sea land as well. I think we're good. I think we're at a really, really good spot now on this account. Um, Don't really need to pull anything else right now. Now there's one thing that we can start doing. Ooh, we got the sticker collection. I don't know if we're actually gonna get any of these. We'll have to see. Not quite sure. Mysterious chests. We'll have to see if we buy the 8,000. I don't know just yet. Uh, we'll get to this next ticket right there, and then we'll probably stop as far as that goes. We're not doing VIP. So Sky Labyrinth. Um, let's start with... No, I'm going to do the whole thing with Queen. I just like the way it works better. So Sky Labyrinth. You can get that unlock. We're not going to have that. The skin chest, number five here, now has the Eloise skin. Now, this is pretty huge when we can get it because those are some really good stats for us to have. Uh, we can't get to five today. We actually would only get to like two, maybe three if we spent gems. But again, we want to wait and see. The big progress for our Eloise is going to be finishing her levels here as well as getting her resonance gear. You guys don't realize how strong resonance gear truly is until you see it in action so let's get our eloise in here let's pray to the gods we can actually make it seven demon potions 
not too bad let's see if there's any offers oh man i really want to buy these tickets i have to the tickets are just so so valuable for gold like they're so valuable and you go through so many of them i'm gonna skip the four star shards for now though i don't really need more four star shards i already have more four star shards than i have three star shards so it's kind of uh pointless to go for those we're mainly just gonna get tickets and wishing coins wow we have a lot of tickets coming our way this time this is amazing more wishing coins too more wishing coins again wow this was a really good shop so last time you guys remember we died to the vessa on the forest wave so we need to make sure that doesn't happen again we're gonna try to play it a little more smart a little less gambly oh i say little less gambly but this wave could be so dangerous but i think mirages are not an issue for us good lord i hope i'm right if I remember correctly, they weren't doing that much damage to me. Yeah, they weren't. They weren't. It's really Vesa is like the one hard counter. Vesa and like Sigmunds can be a little scary as well. The typical ones like Asmodel, Sleepless, they don't seem to be that much of an issue. This girl right here though. We're going to skip the fights, but I think it's when we come to the quad wave that we really get into some trouble here. Um, we're going to full heal. Skip that fight. Easy on that one. Man, we have maxed out attack and crit, which is good. Our crit damage is very low, though, with our potions. We only have 13 of 20. It is what it is for the time being. Please let us get to death one. We just, we need the progress so bad. Really, just the gold. We need the gold from the achievement. That's going to be, like, the biggest item for us to get. Skip all of these. These are fine. We're good. That's a waste of a potion. Double heart watcher is fine. It's just when we come across the heart wa heart watcher Rosa type wave that we get an issue here. I'm going to full heal. This should be fine because we have an active here. Even if we do get stunned, most of them are going to die round one. Do we counterattack and kill? Nope. We got to use our energy is what it is. Skip that. All right. Back to a solo heart watcher. Good to go mickey and hopefully the extra levels that we've given her in the past couple days since our last aspen dungeon run is going to make a big difference in our power level as well plus finishing out our tree for our guild tech that is another really big one for us so let's heal back up against the sleepless go to town get him done yeah sleepless very scary against a lot of a lot of enemies this one's not bad because we have an active in round two but sleepless for us not a big issue now this one it could be an issue so just for the sake of making sure we don't die and with like all of our potions i'm going to start using demon potions a little earlier than i normally would just because i really want to make sure we make it to where we want to be here all right so we came back with 60 energy which is great uh, this wave has a lot of CC, but again, not an issue because, I mean, we just have the healing, which is so amazing. A Sleepless, again, not an issue for us either. Double Faith Blade, not an issue. So many waves, just not an issue. It's just the couple that can get very, very scary. We'll watch the Double Walter wave, but I don't think this is going to be a problem. Yeah, if I remember correctly, it's not really a big problem. Okay, we almost came away with an active, just short. That's a potion we definitely needed. All right, let's see. Can we farm up energy for those difficult waves? We've got a DA, which might hurt us a bit. Nope, not at all. Sometimes the active from the DA can be extremely dangerous, but not this time. So there's a Vesa. We're on 78. What did we get to last time? 87. Do we just use an extra demon potion for... Yeah, we're, I'm going to do it. Vessas, I'm telling you guys. Vessas terrify me. They really do. And getting that round one active off with extra damage maybe puts us ahead of the curve. The way the everything's going to line up. Just don't get stunned either. And we need to get counterattacks. Another big active. Come on, kill that Vessa. Hit the Vessa. Hit the Vessa. Oh, so close. Oh, no. She's healing back up. Oh, I hate this wave so much. I hate this wave so much. This isn't the one that killed us, but again, this one is a very outlast lineup. And if Michelle super high rolls a ton of stunning, that gives them time to heal back up and completely reset the damage that we've been dishing out. We gotta kill that Vesa off. We gotta, we gotta get the Vesa. Oh my God, please don't die here. 
Please don't die here, Eloise. We're probably going to go into bonus rounds. <gasps> oh, never mind. We're good. We're safe. As long as the Vesta goes down, that's the only danger to us in this entire fight. Double Mirage, not an issue even with no energy. Uh, we will heal up just a little bit for the Omnivore. We have tons of potions. No point going in with any lower than full HP because we already have tons of angel potions too so let's just waste energy or waste milks and everything just to keep us pretty topped off here and have no risk of dying full energy good timing for a quad faith blade wave that could actually hurt us uh mickey and valentino again we're gonna just heal up play it safe here we got a good potion for crit damage solo margaret i'll take that assassin wave I'm tempted to use a demon potion here. I really, really am. That would leave us with five more. I think that's fine. I think we're just going to play it safe. Make sure we clear out the assassin wave completely. Bade. Oh, man. Bade sounds sketchy. Sounds like a sketchy wave right here. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage coming in. Granted, we do have a shield. We have Unbending Will. We do come away with full energy, I think. Yep, okay. He does a lot of damage to us, like a ton. We're going to skip this one. You know, I'm just going to full heal no matter what. Just just put me at, at max. I don't care if it's a Gurk or anything. Uh, we're just going to stay at full, full HP going into every one of these fights to make sure we don't mess this up. So the Heart Watcher, that's fine there. Make sure we don't go too fast. Again, well, we got energy for this wave, which is great to have. Going in, we just lose a little bit of HP. Solo Sleepless. Again, we're just going to keep pumping these potions in. All right, looking good. Solo Vesa, 93. You know what? I honestly am just going to pop a demon potion because, again, I'm really scared of Vesa waves. I want to get ahead of the curve, make her proc immediately. It was probably a waste because it doesn't look like she's doing that much damage when she's solo. I mean, it's still pretty sketchy here. Oh my goodness, it's actually really sketchy. I don't know if we win this. Do we actually lose? Should we have used more than one demon potion to try to kill her in round one? I don't know if we have the healing to keep up with this damage. I'm hoping our actives and everything really start scaling with end of round damage. We, we could just die here and that would be devastating for our progress because that's going to slow down our sea land progress and everything not having resonance gear we're in at around 21 oh she's gonna like one shot us soon we're gonna proc on bending right here yep we need our next active to completely one shot her yes thank god oh okay i can breathe my heart's like racing right now because i'm like i don't want to miss death one again faceless we have demon potion we have energy we're fine we got more crit damage which again is good to keep piling that up hell 96 let's keep going Come on. My heart's actually beating right now. It feels weird that an idol game like this is actually making my heart beat a little faster. Um, we're going to play it safe. Use a demon potion. We're not taking any risks here. We're on hell 99. Just a Gru. We're fine. Death or hell 100 right here. We're using a demon potion. There are absolutely no risks being taken here. Cleared it. We got our death one achievement. Now the question is, how far can we make it in death? So, I'm thinking not that far. We probably should start watching these. Once we'll have resonance gear, it's better. But without paid one artifacts, this gets very dangerous here. Surprisingly not that bad, though. They do a ton of damage to us, though. Luckily, her counterattack isn't affected by that counter. Uh, they horrify, which is great. Oh, God, a bade. I think we might just die to the bade. We're going to skip the fight. Nope, we still won. Took a lot of damage. But, uh, yeah, this is looking really on the sketchy side now. Like, very, very sketchy. We'll see how far we can make it. I'm not expecting to go too far, though. We got the Cthuga. The Sigmund. We might die here. Nope, we beat the solo Sigmund, so that's good. Um, boo. That's going to be a demon potion. And I think this might be where we get stopped at Death 7. Although, the penny is going down this round, which is really good for us. It just comes down to, can we beat an Ada? And I don't know if that's possible. 
I think we might die to the aid, especially with the healing debuff. And she's getting healed by Bellerain. Yeah, we're probably done. So, not too bad though. We got up to death six, which puts us in the top 25. We now get the achievement for 120 million gold. So next time I need to figure out the gear situation, but we should be able to upgrade to a resident suit of gear. Um, yeah. Everything's good. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you guys next time.